what next for you uh, you're of course you have a foundation of course uh, you're in the public space so uh, you do get uh, invited to lots of initiatives where you motivate people but uh, are you looking to run for public office are you looking to uh, look forward to more assignments of the nature that you did i'm neither looking for any public office nor am i looking for assignments i'm looking at using this book fearless governance for grooming leadership of the future that's right i'm doing going to be grooming leaders i do a friday book show with children now i'm making going to be talking about grooming leaders i'm going to include my children and the future leadership in my friday show 5 pm every day which i do from my portal india vision foundation demonstrative learning and i'll include youth and that openly stream and learn, take up one chapter a day so i'll do the harvard business method i'll use one chapter present this chapter as a case study and i will teach them what is required if you come to a situation like this so i'm more interested in the future build up of leadership of my country so i will work on grooming leaders using my book uh, um, this fearless governance as a model fantastic congratulations to you mrs bedi for uh, writing this book and i'm sure uh, everyone will enjoy reading it i strongly recommend it and uh, it is a very authentic account of what happened and uh, at the end of every chapter there is a gist there is a takeaway so you're able to relate to it even if you've not been in public service so i would say it's a management book i'd say it's a book uh, if you followed the principle that are enunciated in this book you should do well in any position of influence uh, where you have other people to influence if you're a leader whether you're a middle management in a company or a ceo or a founder of